So today we're going to move into adding fractions with unlike denominators. So for the first strategy, um, we are going to use a number line or a double number line um, in order to add these fractions. So for the first number, you're gonna start with the top number line and I'm just going to show two thirds on that number line. So I'm gonna do that by making this zero, this is one. Um, right here is one third, and right here would be two thirds. Obviously one whole would be three thirds. So then on my bottom number line, I'm going to show the one fourth by splitting my number line into fourths. Again, this is zero and one. This is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths and four fourths. So having this visual will help you understand that you cannot add these two fractions because they are not worth the same intervals. So from here to here, this section is worth one fourth and it's never going to equal anything with a third on the bottom. So you can see that these intervals are not going to be the same. Therefore, we can't add them until we do something about it or we change the denominator. So my next step would be to kind of combine these two number lines in a way. So because my other denominator is four, my first one is three, I'm going to go ahead and take each of my third sections and split them into fourths. So again, I'm just taking my section that's worth a third and I'm splitting it into fourths. And I'm going to do that for every section that I have a third. So then I'm going to do the opposite down here and for every fourth section, I'm going to split that into thirds so that I can have even intervals now. So if you look at my two number lines now, the green and the black lines now match up and we are using the same intervals, therefore we are using the same denominators. Okay, so we're gonna change our fractions. So if we look at this and we count, I now have on each of my number lines, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, sections of my number line. So my new denominator is going to be 12. Now in order to actually add the numbers, we are going to look at where two thirds is. I like to just make a little dot to note where that is. And we are going to add a fourth. So in order to do that, we could look um, from zero to two, how many twelfths did it take me to get to two thirds? So it took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight twelfths. So that's my new numerator for this fraction. And to get to one fourth, which is here, it took me one, two, three twelfths to get me to be equivalent to a fourth. So that's my new numerator there. So I'm going to combine these halves. So I'm going to say, okay, I can either add up here and say eight plus three is 11, and my numerator um, becomes 11 and my denominator stays the same as 12, or I can just count how many hops I took. I took one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 hops in order to create my two thirds plus whatever my one fourth was worth in 12. So this is going to help students visualize uh, the fractions and really understand why you cannot add two thirds plus one fourth the way it is written already. You have to change to have a common denominator.